the time to attend our annual investment character and breakfast. Um, we ask all of you to please stand up for the presentation of the flags. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join Scott Sides. Please join me in the Scout Oath. And there are many um, individuals um, present today that I'd like to recognize. I'm going to be very quick. We do have the interim CEO of the electric company, Adrian Rodriguez. Adrian. <laughs> Jeff Alley for being here today. I want to thank um, my law firm, Mount Screen Myers, who is in attendance today. Um, I also want to thank Houghton Financial Partners. They are supporting our law enforcement table this morning. I want to thank Vista Star, who uh, has supported our fire and EMS table. S uh, Sonia Morales uh, and, uh, and Victoria, uh, who are supporting our military table today. We want to thank United Rentals. I also want to uh, recognize Deb Zuluaga from the United Way. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> Well, howdy. howdy. See, I love that. I travel all around the country, and they speak funny up north. <laughs> they don't know how to say this. They say things like, good day, and stuff like that. So you don't know this, but you had a profound impact on my life. You did. You and others like you changed the course of my life forever. So what I'd like to do today is I'd like to just tell a scouting story. Now, I know it's just one of millions and millions of scouting stories out there just like it, but it's one I know the best because it's my story. Would that be okay? Yeah. All right, good. I appreciate that energy. Thank you for that. Good. Well, in order to tell my story, we're going to have to go way back. This is a picture of me and my daddy's aunt, and this is a picture of me and my two brothers. Now, you might be wondering which one I am. Do you see the, uh, the taller, better-looking, more distinguished-looking one? Yeah, I <laughs> Now, you see the little one that looks like he's about to get in a whole lot of trouble? <laughs> that would be me. And we we're born in a place called McGowan, Texas. Yeah! <laughs> see, when I'm, I'm going to Pittsburgh after this. I'm going to say McGowan. They're going to go, what? <laughs> now, so y'all know McGowan, Texas. A lot of people don't. But what you might know, not know about McGowan, Texas is that's actually the poorest city in the United States of America. Did y'all know that? When I was in high school, my father, my dad, Ty, you're gonna hear part of the story you never heard before. He would work for the USDA. He was off on a trip and he was flying back. And he hit a storm and he lost an engine. And he hit a mountain. And the mountain's right side of El Paso. Yeah, flying into town yesterday. <clears throat> kind of at home. Just like that, the government car pulls up to our house. And lets me know I will never see my dad again. That's when I was in high school. Before he was killed, one of the neighbors came up to him and said, I just want to make sure you understand something. I want to make sure you understand something. Those three boys of yours, those three kids of yours, not a single one of them. Whatever go up to me. That's my background, guys. That's what I can do. People see me on TV and all this other kind of stuff. I don't know who that guy is. I have no idea who that guy is. I know who that kid from the streets of the calendar is. He was never going to grow up to be in But see, we knew something he didn't know. We had something he didn't have. We had you. We had people like you, community servants like you, that gave a flip about a kid like me. Thank God we had Scout. Now, I know you guys are calling this the leadership, breakfast, breakfast, scouting, all that kind of stuff. I don't. 
I don't. I call this the Hall of Heroes. Now we've got some military types here. We've got first responders here. We don't use the word hero loosely, do we? Not at all. That word means a lot to us. And now I get to go around the, the world, to helping other people overcome their obstacles. We have similar, worse backgrounds, whatever. Corporations, organizations, individuals. See that they can find a better way as well. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to tell you just a couple of stories that they didn't show on TV, on the reality show. Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Y'all still got energy for me? You're still good? Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Right on. Okay. Because understand, millions of dollars went into production of this, this show. Years in the making. We've been fully immersed in the jungle for over 30 days. It all comes down to this, and the Boy Scout can win? You're representing all of BSA? The Boy Scout can win, and you're helping the competition? That's exactly right, and that's exactly why I'm doing it. Because I am a scout. And like you heard here today, I took an oath, just like those scouts right there. I took an oath, and that oath started with on my honor. And there's nothing more important in the world than honor. And it went on to say to help other people at all times. Not just when it's happening to me. That taller, better looking brother, here's what he looks like now. This is my brother mine. Now if you think I'm a little crazy with the things I do, this guy's out of his mind. <laughs> Because he decided he wanted to be, you ready for this? An astronaut. <laughs> Y'all know McAllen, Texas. You know, that's not what happens there. But he went for it. But guess what happened? Any guesses? No, no, not at all. <laughs> no, he goes for it again. All right, and this time? You made it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> What the guy said in that literally got my two knees. What the guy said, Mike, I'm sorry. Come clean out your desk. You Because you've been selected to be the United States astronaut. Is that amazing? <laughs> We've got good video of his first flight. Would y'all like to see it? Yeah. Okay. But down in Texas, never going to grow up to be anything. Eagle Scout, Scoutmaster at the time, first Vigil Honor member in space. 2006, July 4th, Independence Day's first flight up after the shuttle disaster. Astronaut Mike One, booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. This is what it looks like when you take somebody, no matter what their background is, and believe in them, and give them scouting. <laughs> what is up? We recorded a video for scouts. Would y'all like to see it? Yes. Yeah. All right, you got it. Greetings. My name is Mike Foster. I'm an Eagle Scout, a Scoutmaster, and an astronaut. Special greetings from the International Space Station. This is a greeting to the scouts, the scouters, and the staff out there. I really like going out there and having a lot of fun with uh, my friends in the troop and other troops from the area. And uh, adventures, adventures around the corner, adventures out in the woods, adventures along the water line, and uh, really just enjoyed everything it had to offer. One of my favorite merit badges that I took one summer as a scout was the astronomy merit badge. I loved looking up at the stars on campouts and stuff. Now was my chance to really begin to learn more about them. It really piqued my interest in, in, in huge ways. I spent a lot of nights out there under the stars sharing my love for, for the stars and astronomy. Somewhere along the line, I kind of woke up a dream that was in the back of my mind. I didn't want to just study and learn about those stars. I wanted to reach out and touch them. You never can tell where your adventure might lead, how it might make a difference in your life. Don't worry about that too much, though, because really, it's about fun, friends, and adventure. I'll see you on down the trail. Mike Fossum signing out from the International Space Station. These are the kids you're serving, and the difference you're making right now, you don't know. You don't know, because you didn't know me. Right? The scouters said they didn't know me. They had no idea the impact they were going to make on our 
down this line. You're doing it right here. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna beg you. I haven't done this in anything else, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna beg you here today. But I got the tour around the town. I know Ty really well. We worked together back in his last council. You know, you guys got a lot of momentum that's starting off right now. Right now. Please, Bill. Please, Bill. Please. These kids here need you. God bless you guys for what you're doing. Thank you.